Hi, 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 hi. It's me again. How are you guys doing? How was work today? How was business? What have you been up to this day, this Thursday? The weekend is almost here, guys. And that's exactly what I want to talk about. Not necessarily about the weekend, but living life on the ledge from one stage to another. I was um, <clears throat> watching this uh, comedian yesterday on uh, Life on the Apollo, and he was saying that, you know, we're always living life on a ledge, waiting to jump from the next ledge to the other. So, you know, when you're 17, you, you know, you're reaching that age where you know that very soon you'll be going off to uni, leaving home, and you're excited, you know, you're in between being a boy or a girl and being an adult and reaching that, um, that, um, that part. Um, and, um, um, <coughs> And then, you know, so then, okay, you reach 18, you, 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 you leave the house, you're off to uni, and then you think, oh, actually, I want to go back, I want to go back home, I don't want to do my own laundry, I don't want to do my own cooking and cleaning and whatever. And then you finish uni, you graduate, and um, you finish uni, you graduate, and you think, right, this is it getting into the working world and starting to earn some cash and, you know, go and buy my house. And then you reach that and, you you know, you attain that, you achieve it, you get a good job and um, buy a house. And then you think, oh, no, all my money is going to paying the mortgage and, oh, and, and then we look out, oh, we get to that age, oh, no, no. Um, you know, we get to that age of, um, okay, now I want to settle down. Let's find this person that we want to, don't want to sleep around anymore. We don't do the, want to do the last thing or, you know, the, 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 bra the browly thing. Okay, yes, get married. Oh, no, I want to live single life. Anyway, the point is we go on from face to face to face and not actually enjoying it because we're all constantly looking at what's next, what's next. And it's true, and even in my personal life, um, you know, when I was pregnant, when I was pregnant, I couldn't wait for the baby to be born. I was like, oh, this is so tedious, this pregnancy thing, and oh, I can't wait for the baby to be born. And then the baby was born and, you know, Oh, can't wait for them to start walking because all this up and down with, um, you know, the buggies and all of that and, and on public transport with, with babies. Couldn't wait for them to start walking and then they started walking. Oh, my God. Oh, headache because obviously then I had to have that. And then they started um, nursery. And I was like, I can't wait for them to go to school full time, for them to go to reception, and et cetera, et cetera. And even now, because my son is going to be 16 soon, and I keep thinking, oh, I can't wait for him to be 16 and, you know, be independent. And, oh, my God, he's going to go off to college and then off to university. And I keep saying to him, oh, yeah, you know, you need to find a job. And that's the normal progression of life instead of actually enjoying this time because already what's happened sometimes when I look back on my memories from them when they were toddlers I'm thinking actually I miss quite a lot I don't even though I did a lot of things with them really enjoying that moment of their their being toddlers or being babies and you know I kind of missed out on on that joy really because I'm constantly thinking oh next phase, next phase, next phase, can't wait for them all to leave the house and, you know, me doing my own thing. And, um, yeah, so, and I think lots of us, we do it. We, we're constantly thinking about the next thing, even when we're out with friends or whatever. Oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? What next? We're at one party and we're already thinking, we're going to the next party. What, when is the next party? Or when is the next whatever celebration? Or when is the next this? Or next, next, constantly next, next, next. Instead of enjoying the moment. What about of just chilling? 
just chilling, just enjoying the moment and just think, okay, no, actually, I just want to chill and enjoy this moment. Yeah. And absorb it and really make it yours and make it a real, real good memory because you're enjoying the moment. You're looking at, I don't know, like, like they would say, um, stop and smell the roses. Do it, literally. Go to a park. Just sit there. Just observe what's happening around you. Just sit on, the, on your sofa. Look at your children. Just observe what's happening. Just not really necessarily interacting with them. Just observing, absorbing, observing and absorbing the moment and enjoying the moment. Many, many people make plans. We, you know, we all make plans for the next day and for the future. But I'm sure many of you have people that they're not long, no longer here. They make plans for the future, but they're no longer here. Not because of old age, they died of natural, you know, natural progression, let's say, of life. You know, we, we all know cancer is creating havoc with millions of people's lives. And um, all kind of other diseases, accidents, I mean, look at the people from of the Grenfell Towers last year. They were full of hopes and dreams and and plans for the future, but they're not here with us anymore. How sad is that? Old people, young people, you know, middle-aged people, they all had their dreams and their hopes and their plans for the future, but they're no longer with us. They're no longer with us. So we really need to enjoy our lives, enjoy our lives, and don't and live for now yes yes we need to make plans for the future yeah because we all know the old saying if you if you um if you don't plan then you will fail yeah if you don't plan you plan to fail so we all know that and yes of course you need to of course you need to make plans for the future of course but don't let your making plans for the future get in the way of enjoying the present, enjoying today, enjoying now. Um, today I went for lunch with new friends and it was just nice. It was a simple, it was a simple meal, but just spending time with people. Because as I said earlier to a, a other friend of mine, when you die, Nobody's going to remember that you have a PhD and millions of um, letters before and after your name. Nobody's going to remember. Um, nobody's going to think about how clean your house was, how shiny your house was. Nobody's doing that. Nobody cares. Really, nobody cares. Oops. Yeah, nobody cares. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to be kind and use this new feature that Facebook clearly has put in. Okay, it's not working, but um, yeah, sorry about that. I was trying to wave, so Paul Bishop, if you're watching, I was trying to use the feature and wave back, but um, it's not working, so um, anyway, so um, yeah, as I said, enjoy the moment, enjoy the moment, um, you know, do something spontaneous, don't wait till it's a birthday, a funeral, a stag do, a hand do, to just go out and enjoy, it doesn't, as I said, it doesn't have to be something major and complicated or anything like that, just simple, get a picnic basket, and go the weather has been so lovely these days how how often do i get lovely weather in the uk let's come on let's enjoy it you know just get up i, I mean i just woke up this morning and i said in my um i have a wet silk whatsapp group and i i just <laughs> said in the group you know let's go for lunch and we um we went for lunch and just enjoyed enjoy the day and I, as I said, I know we all need to work and need to earn money and all of that. But, you know, think about what is important in life. Cre create those lovely memories. And that's all I really want to say. Just live in the moment, guys. Just live in the moment. 
Um, and speaking about parties, so Wet Silk has one of their parties next week, Saturday. It's going to be hot, 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 hot. We're going to have a barbecue. Uh, we're going to have um, music, top DJ playing, dancing, drinking, and just have fun. If you're interested, um, the party bus will be leaving from North Greenwich at 12 o'clock. And we will come back um, to London. Um, we'll leave the party at 2 a.m. So if you're interested, and even though I said live in the moment, this is a little bit of forward, forward planning, but it's going to be hot and nice. So enjoy today. Enjoy this evening. Make it wonderful. And tell me all about it tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is wet silk confession time. Confession time. I'm going to ask you a question. And I expect some really saucy answers. All right, then. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your night. Bye.